Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Ya no son extrajeros ni advenidizos, sino con ciudadanos con los santos y miembros de la familia de Dios. Confesemos nuestros pecados contra Dios y contra nuestro prójimo. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Les fortalezca en toda la bondad y por el poder del Espíritu Santo les conserve en la vida eterna. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Señor, abre nuestros labios, y nuestra boca proclamará tu alabanza. Gloria al Padre, y al Hijo, y al Espíritu Santo, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Aparta mis ojos, que no miren lo que es inútil. Vivifícame en tus caminos. Cumple tu promesa a tu siervo, la que haces a los que temen. Quita de mí el aprobio que te emo, porque buenos son tus juicios. He aquí, anhelo tus mandamientos, en tu justicia reserva mi vida. Gloria al Padre, y al Hijo y al Espíritu Santo, como era en el principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. The Word of the Lord. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the people, but over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night, you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two or three of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The word of the Lord. Amados, amémonos unos a otros, porque el amor es de Dios. El que no ama, no conoce a Dios, porque Dios es amor. En esto se manifestó el amor de Dios entre nosotros, en que Dios ha enviado a su Hijo unigénito al mundo para que vivamos por medio de Jesucristo. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent his Son that sins might be forgiven. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought to love one another. For if we love one another, God abides in us, and God's love will be perfected in us. Jesus said, when two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. 
Jesús dijo, donde dos o tres se reúnen en mi nombre, allí estoy yo en medio de ellos. What joy it is that we gather together for worship today from all around the Diocese of Virginia. Qué alegría que estamos juntos de todas partes de la diócesis de Virginia para adorar a Dios. We are together. Maybe not in groups. Maybe you're alone as you click into this worship. Physically alone, that is. But we are two or three, and Jesus is present. Somos juntos. Quizás no en grupos. Quizás estés solo o sola físicamente durante este servicio. Pero somos dos o tres. Y Jesús está presente. We are together in community. And that is right and good because God made us for community, one with another. God made us in God's own image. Somos juntos en comunidad hoy porque Dios nos hizo para ser comunidad el uno con el otro. Dios nos hizo en su propio imagen. And what is that image? ¿Cuál es el imagen de Dios? We proclaim and celebrate that God is three persons in one. God is creator, Christ, and sanctifier, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is unity. And by God's very nature, community, community. Proclamamos y celebramos que Dios es tres personas en uno. Dios es el Creador, el Cristo, el Espíritu, Padre, Hijo, Espíritu Santo. Dios es unidad y por su, propio, su propia naturaleza, Dios es una comunidad. Because we are made in the image of God, we are made for community. It's who we are. It's who we are meant to be. Nosotros, hechos en la imagen de Dios, somos hechos para comunidad. Es el intento de Dios para nosotros. Es lo que somos, comunidad. We are community right now, gathered in worship in the Diocese of Virginia. We are English speakers, Spanish speakers, Korean speakers. We are black and brown and white. We are different. We are diverse. And we are one, together. Somos una comunidad ahorita, juntos en adoración en la diócesis de Virginia. Somos hispanohablantes, hablantes de coreano, hablantes de inglés. Somos negros y marrones y blancos. Somos diferentes, somos diversos y somos uno, juntos. We are one, though we can't be together physically. We are one, though we participate in this worship at different times and in different places. Because the power of Jesus' love transcends time and place. Because love transcends differences of every kind. Somos uno. Aunque no estamos juntos físicamente, somos uno. Aunque participamos en actos de adoración en diferentes lugares y diferentes horas. ¿Por qué? 
el poder del amor de Jesús supera el lugar y el tiempo porque el amor trasciende las diferencias de todo tipo. St. Paul talked about this power of love in his letter to the Romans, as we heard in this worship. He wrote, Oh, no one anything except to love one another. And then he went on to quote the words of Jesus when he said, The commandments are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. San Pablo escribió del poder de amor a los cristianos en Roma. Dijo, no tengan deudas con nadie aparte de la deuda de amor que tienen unos con otros. Pues citando las palabras de Jesús dijo, los mandamientos quedan comprendidos en estas palabras. Ama a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. God who is love made us for community. That's why we can't be Christians in isolation. We can't be Christians alone. We need others. We need neighbors. We need one another. Dios que es amor nos hizo para comunidad. Por esta razón, no podemos ser cristianos en aislamiento. No podemos vivir la vida cristiana solos o solas. Necesitamos los prójimos. Necesitamos el uno al otro. So what does love look like now? What does Christian community look like when many are isolated because of coronavirus? How do we live as community when we can't yet gather together in person in our church buildings? Entonces, ¿cómo es el amor en esta temporada ¿Cómo es la comunidad cristiana cuando muchos son aislados por el coronavirus? ¿Cómo vivimos en comunidad cuando todavía no podemos reunirnos en persona en los edificios de nuestras iglesias? Well, love looks like prayer. It looks like praying. In community. Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven. Our Father, not my Father. And we pray those words the exact same way, whether we're in a huge group of people or by ourselves physically. Our Father, we pray. Because even when we're physically alone, we are part of a wider community. El amor es orar en comunidad. Jesús nos enseñó a orar en esta palabras, estas palabras. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Padre nuestro, no Padre mío. No importa si estamos solos o en un grupo, Oramos al Padre nuestra, nuestro en la misma manera, porque incluso cuando estamos físicamente solos o solas, somos parte de la comunidad de fe, de fe. This Labor Day weekend, love looks like praying for workers on the front lines of this pandemic. For essential workers who care for the sick, who drive trucks to deliver things to stores and to our homes, who stock the shelves of the supermarkets, 
Love looks like striving for fair wages for every worker, especially now, for every worker, without exception. En este fin de semana del día de trabajo, el amor es orar por los que trabajen en la primera línea de la pandemia, por los trabajadores esenciales que cuidan a los enfermos, que conducen camiones, los empleados de supermercados y farmacias. El amor es luchar por un salario justo por todos los trabajadores, sin excepción. Love looks like praying and advocating for those who are most vulnerable in this time, including the black and brown persons who contract COVID-19 at higher rates than white people. Love looks like wearing a mask and maintaining physical distance and avoiding crowds in order to protect ourselves and ultimately to protect others, especially the most vulnerable. El amor es orar y abogar por personas las más vulnerables en este momento, por las personas de color que contraen el coronavirus en tasas más altas que los blancos. El amor es usar una máscara, mantenerse distancia física y evitar los multitudes para proteger nosotros mismos y al final la salud de los demás, sobre todo los más vulnerables. Love looks like saying thank you to the people who take great risks and make great sacrifices to care for their families and to serve others. And it looks like ensuring that all citizens can exercise their right to vote in the upcoming November election. El amor es dar gracias a las personas que corren grandes riesgos y hacen grandes sacrificios para cuidar a sus familias y servir a los demás y garantizar que todos los ciudadanos puedan ejercer su derecho a votar en las elecciones en noviembre. What does love look like right now? Putting the needs of others, especially the vulnerable, before our own. Que es el amor? Es poner las necesidades de los otros sobre todos los vulnerables ante las nuestras. Living love like this can get us in trouble. After all, when two or three are gathered together, there will be at least two or three opinions. There will be at, lo at least two or three bumps and bruises. Vivir al amar como esto me puede meternos en problemas. Porque donde dos o tres se reúnen, hay dos o tres opiniones, hay dos o tres moretones y raspaduras. And yet love gets us in good trouble, to use the wonderful words of John Lewis, because where two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, Jesus himself is there among them. When we are gathered together in Jesus' name, even through electronic means, Jesus is here among us. We are blessed beyond words. 
We are loved beyond our imagining. And we are empowered to love in return, in concrete action, for the sake of others. And for all of that this day, we say, thanks be to God. El amor nos mete en problemas buenas, en problemas buenas, citando las palabras magníficas de John Lewis. Porque donde dos o tres se reúnen en el nombre de, de, de Jesús, Jesús mismo está en medio de ellos. Cuando nos reunimos en nombre de Dios, incluso de forma remota o, o virtual, Jesús está aquí. Somos bendecidos. Somos amados más allá que nuestra imaginación. Estamos facultados para amar el nombre de Dios. Y por todo esto, demos gracias a Dios. Amén. Let us proclaim our faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. El Señor sea con ustedes. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga tu reino, hágase tu voluntad, en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación, y líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino, tuyo es el poder, y tuya es la gloria, para ahora y por siempre. Amén. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their own boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Dios, Tú nos alegras con el recuerdo semanal de la gloriosa resurrección de tu Hijo, nuestro Señor. Concédenos tal bendición en este día, mediante nuestra adoración, que ocupemos todos los días de esta semana en tu favor. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Almighty God, you have so linked our lives one with another that all we do affects for good or ill 
all other lives. So guide us in the work we do, that we may do it not for ourselves alone, but for the common good. And as we seek a proper return for our own labor, make us mindful of the rightful aspirations of other workers and arouse our concern for those who are out of work. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, you created humanity in your own image, and without any of us, your image is incomplete. Give us, we beseech you, the courage to confront racism and prejudice in our society, our church, and ourselves. Give us eyes to see Jesus in the racially marginalized, and the heart to be in communion with the least, the last, the lost, and the lonely. And give us the fortitude to relentlessly pursue racial justice and healing until all are joined as siblings in the beloved community. All this we pray in the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O merciful Creator, your hand is open wide to satisfy the needs of every living creature. Make us, we beseech thee, ever thankful for your loving providence, and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give to you, be faithful stewards of your good gifts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Realiza ahora, Señor, nuestros deseos y peticiones como mejor nos convenga concédenos en este mundo el conocimiento de tu verdad y en el venidero la vida eterna. Amén. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bendigamos al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask for or imagine. Gloria a Él en la Iglesia de generación en generación y en Cristo Jesús por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Si
Machine.